their failing deals and rebuilding their terrarium. Watch this video to learn how to make an awesome enclosure. Hudson's Animal House! So this is a blue the framing beetle and this is what we're going to do a video about today. So I'm rebuilding its terrarium because at the moment it's not very good so I've just uh, gotten a few things to add a little bit of extra details to the terrariums. I'm using this terrarium today for blue death rain beetles because it's really big, which they like air, they don't like moisture, so they can climb around a lot in this um, lot of space and they can't climb glass so they won't be able to escape the terrarium. First I'm going to add a layer of soil because if they have any babies then the babies will eat the soil. So they don't like moisture so I'm going to do a combination of different types of soil. So at the moment I've used reptile soil so next I'll add the cocoa fibre. up some leaves just in case we do get any love that should do because if we we might not have any babies so, so that's what probably do next we'll add the sand layer So I'm adding a layer of sand because it's like normal for their tropical type of desert feed. So also the sand really looks cool. So I've sloped the sand to the back so it looks cooler from the front. Like you can see like at the front is like a hill when it go as it goes back. And I'm just going to plan the cactus out. So I've got this um, cactus, which is quite big. And I've got um, a prickly pear. And I don't know what this one is, is called. But and I'm just going to um, place it in position so that like, I can kind of like, get the shape. I'll add an air plant in a succulent because they don't need one very often either. So I've now I've figured out the layout. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, get supervised by a parent to get these spiky cactuses into the tank. So that didn't really help me. <laughs> now that we've finished planting the cactus and air plants and stuff like that, I'm going to add some more sand because. It's dirty at the first layer. You may have noticed I'm not wearing a jumper anymore. It's because I got like a million cactus spikes in my jumper, so I took it off. laid out the cactuses and me and my dad have planted them so I've put the smaller ones at the front the bigger ones at the back so it looks like a better layout and I've half buried the log so that it's really cool for them to hide it and also you can see it from the front so you can see them when they're hiding so next I'm going to be adding the leaf litter and bark because they'll eat the leaf litter just like the grubs will so if i sprinkle it around then it'll like look a bit cooler than just having like really big chunks in one spot so next i'll add the lights on 
So this one is a colour changing light and it's just like for aesthetics. Like it can be a blood moon whenever you want. So this one's for a basking spot for the um, <coughs> blood of funny beetles on that part. So it's gonna be a basking pot on there. So I'm adding a variety of food, which will be carrots and dog biscuits. I've watched some carrots and peeled them, so that there's no germs, pesticides or parasites, so they can eat it without um, getting germs on it. So I'm going to add them in like um, random places so that they can search for the foods. So I'm, I'm adding one there and I might add one over here behind the log. So that means they'll have to search for the food. They will get the water from the carrots and the veggies that they eat so that they won't need any water. I think my tank looks ready now. So don't you, it looks really cool at the moment. So it's time to add the blue death rain and beetles in. So I'm going to be adding the blue death rain and beetles in now. So as you can see, I think they like it so far because that one's exploring, it's not just standing there in horror. So, normally what they would do is they would just stand there acting dead. If they're scared, they like pretend to be dead so that like creatures don't eat them because some predators only eat alive things and hunt them down and they don't eat things that are already dead. So they'll act dead and the predator will go away and then they'll um, survive the attack of a predator. Wow, look at me exploring. They really like the new enclosure, don't they? Right now it's time to put it on the book table. I need help with doing it. This is the new addition to my book desk. Isn't it cool? Let's take it out with the lights on. Wow, it looks awesome, doesn't it? It's great in the dark. Look at those tiny creatures. If you're wondering why they have blue in the name, it's because they've got a blue waxy coat which protects them from the desert heat. And also, they're not blue at the moment because they've been playing in the sand. Let's take it out with the blue lights on. Whoa, that looks awesome. Look at that one sneaking under the prickly pear tunnel. Let's take it out with the red lights on. It looks like a blood moon, doesn't it? I really like these cool changing lights because it makes the tank look cool. These are really good pets because they're really active. I did a bit of wood just to make it look cool and have a little bit of height. I'll show you how to make the wood reptile safe in another video. Look at him sunbathing. It's like he's chilling out there on the beach, but just on a rock in a basking spot. There we go, the finished tank. What do you think, guys? If you want to know what this is, it's a baby morning gecko. And if you want to know more um, things about morning geckos, you can watch an upcoming video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hudson's Animal House.